You know, it has been two weeks since an EF3 tornado tore through Morris County. Some people in that area say it's taking a bit longer than expected to recover from the damage. It's been that long. Kate Kate's Avery Kanowski right now joins us live from Case and to tell us about the roadblocks these great people are having to run into right now. Avery. People here in Kaysen near Dangerfield say they are frustrated with how slow the repair process is, but they say they are blessed to be safe after a tornado tore through their community. The only thing I'm working on now is that big tree out there, uh, but everything else, I'm waiting for the insurance people, you know, for I move anything. Evans' house suffered extreme damage. The majority of the roof was completely torn off and left the home in ruins. The, uh, most of it is just people getting either their something to live in and get back to normal or the couple of houses that was completely destroyed, you know, rebuilding from that, whether it be in, well, however. Um, it's going it's going to take some time. It'll be the, the damage just in through case and you'll be able to tell it for years to come. Thomas Evans has lived in the Kaysen area for 50 years and says he's never experienced anything like this. This is the only experience I've had with a tornado. I've heard it happening to other people, but, you know, uh, to be honest with you, I didn't expect it to happen to me. But, you know, it's, it can happen to anybody. When the tornado hit, he was home with his son and granddaughter. Evans says they all hit the floor and made it through the storm uninjured, but with his home destroyed. He is now waiting on home insurance to come out and inspect the damage. It was just another day to me, you know. It happened, you know, and, and uh, nobody could do nothing about it. An agent with Farmers Insurance says they are busy, saying the day after there were quite a few claims and most of the losses have come from Hughes Springs and Kaysen. Avery Klanowski, KETK News.